No worries. Oh, I got it. Okay, so I'll start my um screen recording as well. Just give me one sec. Okay, we're well, all good. Well, then I suppose thank you for meeting with me today about the sale of a generator. Um, uh, not very good. No worries. Thank you for uh, getting down so promptly. Always helpful to deal with people that uh, that work quite efficiently. Yeah, no, it's great. Um, and keen to have a new seller, potentially a new buyer. So um, I suppose my first question would be, why, why are you after this generator? And uh, I suppose why now um, in such a quick time frame? Yeah, look, um, there's been a few sort of power outages recently, um, and we're also an expanding business with multiple um, plastic moulding um, factories. Um, and obviously, we aim to be as reliable as possible to our customers um, around uh, Victoria. Um, and so given that there have been a couple of little issues on that front recently, we thought, you know what, let's get a secondary generator in so that if there are any power outages, um, at one of the factories, there's that secondary backup um, in place um, so that we can then continue to efficiently fulfill any orders that we may have. Awesome. Okay, that sounds good. And just you're in the area, you're kind of local, you're, or this expansion, is that national? or? Yeah, look, we're hoping to take it national. Um, at the minute, we've got a couple of factories in the Victorian area. Our main factory that we're we're at today being just outside of Melbourne, but we do have another factory in re up uh, regional Victoria, um, up north near the border of New South Wales. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's, uh, and we're hoping to open another one um, in, in the outskirts of Sydney in the in due course. So uh, yeah, just looking to make sure that we've got all our bases covered. Sweet. That sounds good. And just to confirm, we are today talking about um, the sale of one single generator potentially. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, 2,000 kilowatt um, mm -hmm. generator for, for today. Yeah, awesome. All right. Well, is there anything you wanted to start with in particular? Are we happy just to start chatting about things? Or... No, just um, obviously you've got the, the, the generator. Um, and, uh, yeah, no, we're, we're, we, were, we were sort of thinking, um, obviously I'm not sure. We've been looking around and we've seen sort of in the in the mid sort of 300s um, when I've looked at some other quotes. Um, and some other vendors. Um, so we were we were thinking of somewhere in that sort of um, mid um, 300s sort of range for the price. Um, but also there is some interest um, in, in getting installation done because I myself don't know how to install generators. So that's yeah. important. So. No worries. That's definitely something we can handle. So no problem on that front. Um, and you said, so you've had a look at a few different generators. I'm just kind of wondering where you pull that, you know, mid $300,000 figure. Yeah. If you could give me a few more details on that. Yeah, absolutely. So just a couple of um, vendors online um, and also um, some vendors overseas. Um, but obviously we do like to work. We're an Australian company. We like to work with uh, local um, vendors and, and partners such as yourself. Um, and so when it comes to a lot of our sellers, they're Australian businesses. We're an Australian business. It's, it, it is ideal um, to keep things um, locally based. So, so that's why we do have an interest in um, partnering with yourselves for this deal and potentially others in the future if all goes well. Sweet. I like the sound of that. That works with me very well. Um, okay. Well, I can tell you right now, we do have that generator available for sale. It's the only one we have at the minute, but we do have obviously more coming in, which could, you know, address those potential future relationships and potential like setting up a sort of deal for more models and sales in the future. But just in relation to this first one, um, I would like to know your opinion on paying kind of upfront for those. Is that financially viable for you at the minute and paying in cash as opposed to credit? What's your stance on those? Yeah, look, um, obviously I've got a, a certain budget to, to sort of work with. Um, in terms of upfront, I could do, as I sort of said, um, a $350,000 um, all cash, all upfront. Mm -hmm. Um, yes. with, um, and then in terms of my research, I believed it was potentially another sort of, uh, 5k for an install and we were willing to look at another 
annual fee of a thousand dollars a year um, for a, a five to sort of eight year warranty um, on the on the installation and and parts and whatnot. Got it. Okay. Um. Sweet. Um. This three hundred fifty thousand dollar figure you've been talking about that's generally not quite in line for how much we sell ours for. So right. just so you know, our retail price for a generator is around four hundred and ninety five thousand. But um, you know, we're kind of happy about just you meeting with us today and things like that. So we're happy to give you a bit more of a discount on that and prepare to drop it by, you know, about 50 grand or so to hit maybe like the four seventy thousand dollars mark. Um, so, you know, I know there's a bit of a gap between those two numbers, but there's a lot to work with in terms of, you know, we could discuss installation and you mentioned warranty. And also we do have a service available for, um, sorry, let me just get the wording right, but... Uh, uh, yeah, maintenance, yearly maintenance, um, yeah. you know, just to ensure that that generator stays working to deal with those power outages that you're talking about. So if you're a little bit flexible with perhaps the initial payment price, then we can work on those other things to kind of uh, reach an yeah. agreement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, look, it, it is hard, um, certainly in a in sort of a post-COVID world for manufacturers. We had our factories shut down last, for a significant portion of the last couple of years. Um, so that's been a little bit of a concern. And I mean, look, we are sort of at, we're sort of at that 350 and change. So sort of we're at sort of a 360 number. You guys are at a 470 number. Um, it, it is sort of a, a balancing act, 100%. I think... Um, there were some other things that we were we were potentially looking looking at doing um, because we do recognise that we are struggling a little bit potentially on the on the raw numbers. We were thinking perhaps a a revenue sharing agreement might be something that interested yourselves. Uh -huh. um, so looking at so for our products that we manufacture using your your generator, um, and obviously all our products and the inventory is taken in terms of how everything's made and, and the price mm -hmm. is for tax purposes anyway. So it's yeah. um, something that is legally verified for you guys and gives you guys that security that we're not just having no issues um, on that end. And yep. we're going to do in a 5% um, profit sharing. So anything that's manufactured with your product, um, we give you guys 5% of our, of our profits from that um, over the sort of five to eight year term that there's that um, annual um, servicing and warranty on, on the machine. Yeah. And then that way um, you guys are getting a very um, steady and consistent um, additional income stream, I suppose, um, on top of the, the sort of um, three, uh, 360, I suppose we could call it for the sake of simplicity, um, upfront payment. Okay. Right. And just to be clear, this five to eight service and warranty, just um, would that be you paying our service maintenance yeah. fee of $5,000 a year? You have to pay that in full yearly? Yeah, uh, we, we, were, we were sort of hoping that it would be like 5K for five years, 8K for eight years. Um, but perhaps if we did a longer term deal at a sort of middle ground number, perhaps we could say the, so we've got that three sort of, let's call it the three sort of 60 up front. We're, we're sort of happy with that. Um, we've got that sort of 5K profit sharing. And then perhaps we did, uh 2k a year um for let's call it seven years so two by seven so that's an additional 14 um k in guaranteed sort of dollars um mm. the agreement which brings it to sort of a 374 um number okay plus obviously the five percent profit share um yeah. of our profits on, on and that plans. profit share would be for the amount of for the like the I suppose well, the shelf life of the generator or for the length of the service warranty kind of thing um well again that's something that we're negotiable to we were thinking for the seven year period that the warranty is in place just because um if you yeah. guys have that warranty in place that we're paying for it means that you guys believe in in your product 
Yeah. Um, and so we're comfortable to be consistently giving you revenue on a product that you guys are saying, this is a good product for, for this length of time. Okay. Um, if you're happy with this, I'd like to concentrate on the service warranty aspect just for a little bit. Um, Cause I agree. I like um, your profit idea and how it could relate to that warranty thing. But um, the quote you've given of about a K a year is not, you know, necessarily feasible yeah. um, considering we, our charge is $5,000 a year. Yeah. However, you mentioned when we first began chatting about reliability in relation to these power outages. So I'm thinking that maybe, you know, um, if reliability is so important, we I can make a promise on behalf of my business that, you know, any default or issue that needs repair mm -hmm. um, with the generator could be dealt with within, say, 24 hours or a 48-hour frame. Yeah, and you know, which is would be very prompt service, especially in this kind of market. So, um, you know, we're happy to ensure that your product stays working as well as well as possible, I suppose, quickly. And would that um, be part of the um the install as well? That sort of twenty four hour high priority. Let's get things happening consistently. Um, could that be sort of attached to the initial install as well? Could we? So, you so you'd like the it to be installed within about twenty four hours after agreement? Yeah, if if that sort of because I think you mentioned it's in stock. I don't say that way. You install it as soon as possible, and you guys get all your cash up front as soon as possible, and and sort of everyone wins. Um, that works for me. We're happy to do installation within twenty four hours of reaching an agreement, and yeah. then as to that yearly service, we're happy to do. Um, you know, 48 hours would be more flexible, but I understand if 24 hours is a bit more of a necessity for you and we're happy to accommodate that. So 24 hours maintenance service. Yeah, I mean, um, we, you know, could do, we could do 36 hours, meet in the middle there, um, just so that if you guys are sort of, if someone's interstate or something, they don't have to kill themselves to get back to that <laughs> way and give you guys that little bit of flexibility. So look, if you wanted to push that out to the 36 hours and have that in the middle, I'm happy to do that. Of course, uh, and we're happy to do that prompt service. But again, I think the one k for per year has to budge just a little bit. That seems. Um, yep, I'm not. I'm not totally against that. What What sort of number do you think is fair? Well, look, I'd probably say I'm happy to do three thousand yeah. dollars, which, yeah. um, yeah, so about three grand, and we're we're happy to do the eight years. Um, you know, oh, for the I'm whole happy. time. Yeah. If you'd like these generators, we know just based on other customers and things like that, they generally have a pretty long life. So they work for quite a while. So if you want to ensure that the generator is maintained by us for longer, we're happy to do that too. Yeah. Um, so if you want to extend it to 10, 12, 15, 20 years, we can do the service thing. But warranty. I suppose warranty is a bit different to the maintenance fee. So we'd be happy to warrant it for five, but do the, you know, the service um, for about eight or more. Okay. So let's do, so we'll just sort of, just to see where we're at. So we're at that yep. sort of three sort of 60 cash number with an additional, um, we'll do the five year warranty um, mm -hmm. with an additional three years of servicing. Um, at twenty, at uh, sorry, at three k a year, yeah. um, which is then uh, 20, which equals uh, quick math on that being twenty four k, and then we've also got in there the uh, in immediate install. Um, we've got immediate install, and we've got the uh, thirty six hour issue resolution, and we've also got the uh, five percent. Uh, of our profits will go to you guys for everything manufactured on the uh, on the generator um, in terms of all our plastics and whatnot. Yeah. Okay. And for this installation within 24 hours, did you have a number in mind for that or? Look, we'd be happy to do, um, we, we do appreciate your time, obviously. So we'd be happy to do sort of an additional sort of, uh, we were thinking sort of three to five, so maybe an additional $4,000 for that immediate install. Is that sort of uh, um, To be honest, the $4,000 doesn't even meet our minimum gotcha. for installation. What so 
our our lowest we do it for is five. Gotcha. And that's you know if you could consider the fact that we are sort of the twenty four hours would be stretching our capacities a little bit just to make sure they're accommodated for but we respect that you know you're a businessman as well you need to get things running so um yeah um well perhaps we do perhaps we'll do how um an extra thousand dollars which is sort of six thousand dollars work for that sort of quick turnaround on the install yeah that would be appreciated i we'd be happy to take six grand for the 24-hour installation. And this was just to confirm to your factory just outside of Melbourne? Yeah, yeah, the, the, the closest uh, sort of local one, if you will. Sure. Um. Okay. This is looking not too bad for me um, in terms of the service and warranty installation. Um, but just with the initial buying price of $360,000 cash, mm -hmm. um. The 5% profit that comes after that, right. I just don't know if that percentage would like accommodate for the gap that's between what you're asking, like you want to buy the generator for and what we usually sell it for. Like at this 360K point, you know, we're barely covering our, the buying price where we get the generators from. Oh, so I yeah. think there needs to be a little bit of flexibility there. And we understand that, you know, you mentioned COVID and things like that, that cash might not be available to you at this very minute but if there could be you know like a month down the track or two months down the track potentially yeah. like an io an iou sort of system yeah. you know mm -hmm. or like a bit of another payment just to bridge that gap a little bit because mm -hmm. as i said the usual asking price is 495 on average we're happy to drop it to around 470 for you um, yeah, so do you know if that's viable for your company to maybe do just like, you know, a singular lump sum payment a little bit down the track? Yeah, yeah. look, so obviously there is that 30K in value that we've got negotiated with the installs and warranties and stuff um, on top of the three sort of 60, which it gets it to sort of 390. Um, and there is that 5% profits, which um, again, we are a multi million dollar company in terms of if we're buying one generator for one of our multiple factories um th there is a certain level that we do have quite a high turnover of product it's just we haven't been able to turn over product due to the factories being closed which is what's the issue um which is why we don't have that cash at hand obviously mm -hmm. it, it is um getting really sort of tight for us um being up at sort of 390 already um I could potentially say another 10k um up front if that works for you guys um upon that installation with then another uh, 10k in a month's time um bringing it up to the sort of so an extra two 10k payments so that gets us to um 410 in terms of total price plus that profit sharing. Um, mm -hmm. Because that's really sort of, I'm sort of maxed out now. Just I, I, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I, I sort of had the budget of um, 400. So that mm -hmm. 10K that I'd be giving you in a month would, would be something that I have to borrow um, from the bank at 10K. Got and, it. As you sort of be well aware, being in business yourself, the, the, the interest rates, they just seem to keep going up when you get crazier every day. <laughs> I know. And so that's that, that extra 10K would probably end up costing me something like 15, maybe. To, to, yeah. What it, it costs me. So, okay. Well, I do um, appreciate that. Yeah. That. No, and we've got to make everyone happy. So, yeah. No, that works well for me. So, if you're happy with this, I think we should let that kind of initial generator sale sit for a minute we can think about it but if you're happy to just for a second discuss perhaps the sale of future generators so you mentioned expansion you know yeah. working with local businesses so you know that we only we have that one on hand but we do have a shipment coming in for more generators in about two months time so obviously it depends on your business plan and how fast that expansion is going to happen but you know, as you said, reliability is important. We're happy to be a reliable provider of generators to you. So perhaps we could, you know, 
sort of come to an agreement on that which could help shape yeah. the initial uh, sale of that generator? Look, well, it, it seems like you guys are great to, to deal with so far. So I would be happy to say that um, our, the next generator purchased um, mm -hmm. by by our company, um, that if we were to reach an agreement to today on, on this current generator, the next generator we buy, um, whether that be in two months, four months, or, or sort of six months, whenever that sort of may be, depending on council approvals for, for the new factory and all that. Sure. Uh, again, logistics. Um, <laughs> um, but when we do get around to purchasing the next um, generator, um, I'd be happy to guarantee that that next generator would, would come from from you guys. Um, yeah. And then so that I, I'd be comfortable entering into sort of a, a longer term agreement for that, that if we wanted to buy, even calling it the five-year warranty period, so any, if we were to buy any generator, um, yeah. So five years of warranty that you guys would be our um generator partner i suppose as a way yeah. of calling it um sure generator partnership yeah I'd, I'd be happy to to do that um in terms of uh, a long-term arrangement if we could uh come to a, a deal today all right um i have a question with you two questions on that sort of front um the first being do you, you know whether or if you have the authority to disclose whether you could kind of like maybe make a promise that you would buy say two generators a year like is there any level of consistency in the expansion yeah um yeah. It, it, so it, far it is a tough one um mm -hmm. again just because of largely council permits and whatnot and building and manufacturing materials sure. well and, and sure. factories. um i, I could um I, I can't say timeline wise in terms of when that will be but again i do have the authority to say to say that the the next generator purchased by our company um, be from us you guys. yeah okay awesome i'm pretty happy with that um so when you say any generator would come from us, uh, would that be buying full price or would you like, because um, in my mind, something that I kind of resonate with is perhaps like your business, say buying, you know, um, two generators from us a year. I'm happy to give you kind of first in, you know, dibs on the generator, if you will, yeah. um, with the five-year warranty and potentially like with the sale of the, first generator we talked about the eight years maintenance and service yep. for that little bit of a discounted price at three thousand um, dollars um yeah that sounds good yeah in, in and the, that little bit of a discount on the upfront so as we've done today with the us giving you sort of that long-term sort of money coming through to keep your cash flow going um I, i'd be happy to agree that as a as sort of a sub clause if you will of the yeah generator partnership. okay Awesome. As for the price of subsequent generators, mm -hmm. um, as I mentioned before, four ninety five is kind of like our that you know that's what we sell it to our other buyers, I suppose. So, but if you know we can say that you will buy one, two, three generators yearly as you expand, that's kind of a bit of a you know comforting to us, I suppose. Um, we could give you a bit of a discount potentially to four eighty five, so ten grand off every new generator or if we wanted to strip it of the numbers just because obviously generators generators might be more or less expensive depending on the model price, 100%. yeah we could just kind of do like a blanket 10 percent discount off the retail price yeah. um that you could buy it for and then we'd warrant it for five years but you'd have the maintenance and service for 10 years yeah um look i, I think that sounds reasonable and fair um but again and we do business honestly and transparently i don't necessarily <laughs> know when the the purchase of our next generator will be yeah uh, but I, I i it will be coming in the future uh, but i just don't I, I can't sort of put pen to paper saying it'll be yeah. december 25th or, or, or whatever um, uh, yeah i understand if, if you guys are happy to have that agreement open that our next generator purchase um, will be through you guys and, and potentially ha and however many generators rather over the next five years that we purchase will come from you guys. 
um, with that sort of ten percent discount, I I'd, I'd be I'd be thrilled to sort of do that because it does seem like a, a fairly fair um, arrangement. I I think. Okay. Yeah, I understand that you can't give me dates or anything like that. I'm not expecting that, but you know, there needs to be. Perhaps do you have any precedent to base it on, or like that you're just not going to buy one generator, you know, and that's that, or I suppose, you know a promise in some respect would be enough, but like, I don't know. You just need to understand that for me, yeah. giving it to you as a discounted price, I kind of need to know in some capacity. And obviously I'm not pushing for every September or every November buying this and this, yeah. that, you know, I will be your soul. I suppose I look, I understand you're in a tricky spot there. You don't know how the expansion will, expansion will roll out, but potentially a clause where we agree that I just am your sole provider of generators. Yeah, exactly. I think I'd be more than okay. happy to do it. Um, I don't necessarily know when the generators will be, but for the next five or, or even um, sort of six, throw an extra year on, seven years or, or eight even if you want to do it for the, the length of the agreement we have on the first generator. So if you want to do it for the next eight years, you guys are our generator partners um, and we will buy generators um, from you guys for the next eight years. Um, I'd be happy to, to do, to make that.